There's no other way we can sustain a city so robust as Indio to continue to grow without everyone participating in our conservation programs, saving water at home, and spreading the message that conservation is the way of life. So IWA has an existing program that uh, will help the residents pay for the removal of turf, and the replacement of that would be friendly desert landscape. Desert Landscape is one of our conservation programs that has actually been one of the most sustainable and robust programs in the valley. The reason why we have Desert Landscaping is as we remove the water use externally for our lawns, it's a permanent savings for us year over year. As you remove turf, you can create some hot spots. And what we want to make sure is that we replace that turf with native landscape and tree shade to continue to keep the community cool. So IWA's role is to make sure we incentivize the residents to remove that turf with the $3 a square foot, as long as there's native trees planted in that area. As we continue to go through droughts, we need to have new resources that keep our city reliable and sustainable. And so the more we use recycled water, the more drinking water we offer to new development, and that's what keeps us sustainable. Water recycling is when we take a wastewater from a wastewater treatment plant, treat it to a higher level, and use it for beneficial uses such as golf courses or parks. And that's what we refer to as water recycling. Rather than using potable water, we use that wastewater that's highly treated and therefore save that potable water for our residents. Potable water, we rely on the rain and the different hydrologies, the snowpack, and that's less reliable than having a local source like recycled water that can keep us growing and keep us sustainable for the coming years. With the support of the residents that approved a sales tax measure some years ago and at the direction of the city council, we're putting a, a huge focus on sustainability community-wide, particularly in our parks and throughout some of our parkways, the planting of trees to cool down our community and provide spaces for people to gather, parks that have amenities such as shade structures and other facilities that allow people to gather in our warmer climate here, but doing it in a sustainable way and creating an environment where people want to stay, live, and play here in our community. The design of the new city hall, the new library, as well as the three facilities at the public safety campus need to be efficient from both an energy as well as a functionality perspective. Solar power is going to be a big part of the project. The type of glazing in the windows is going to be an issue, and all the other mechanical systems of the building are keeping in mind the need to be sustainable and to be a good example as we build these public facilities for those that build other facilities here in the community.